we've got another another set this one is sort of like old school french baroque you know you guys get what i'm trying to go for right you get it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we're gonna um we're gonna do some of this before sunset so we're gonna go up go up on the roof to get um some sunset while the light is nice and low because it's been like hot for the longest but yeah this staircase i like the pastel with the pink light kind of pinky looks very moral. orangey now i love this background for many many reasons um i love the stairs i love the coloring and what chloe's wearing it just like absolutely matches but what I do like is the, the staircase. It's kind of like leading lines in the background. It's got that perspective in the back and um, it's sort of like the rule of thirds as well. So I, I kind of keep, if I'm shooting from the side, I'm keeping the staircase going diagonal from the bottom left corner to the top right corner. So it kind of keeps your eyes like leading lines into the subject. If I'm shooting dead on, I'm making sure it's directly in the middle. Like I cannot <laughs> not have, uh subjects like a bit off in the picture like everything has to be uh symmetrical i have to have it symmetrical i don't know if it's ocd but for me it has to be centered all the leading lines have to be sort of perfect and i think that's just how our eyes naturally are attracted to things especially when you see like uh leading lines and then the, your your model or whatever the subject is in the middle of the image so with the lenses that i use when i travel i literally 50 50 use the 24 to 70 and the 135 but in this case i was using uh, the 24 to 70 and with uh 24 to 70 at f28 you're gonna see quite a lot of the background now i tend to make sure the background is uh near perfect as possible as uh obviously I, you you just don't want to make more work for yourself having to photoshop the background or take people out or move items you forgot to um the model wasn't centered or anything like that you just want to make your editing process longer i mean why would you just make everything that's why i try to get everything as perfect as i can in camera while i'm there so i don't have to go and even ai the background um i want everything to be uh smooth as possible make my workflow smooth as possible as well The abandoned <laughs> his new camera. I found this dope little spot. A nice little set and table. I think goes well with the outfit. All I need is some food now. <laughs> Even though we just ate. <laughs> A girl can always eat. <laughs> And this exactly goes into what I was saying about paying attention to the background. I mean, how often do you get orange trees in the back of your shots? Like literally, uh, this is probably one of my favorite sets. It sucks I didn't get too much BTS of this at all. But I literally love the background of this simply because editing wise, uh, I could see how I was gonna edit it before I even took the picture. 
and I feel like as photographers we need to stop doing things by accident we need to be more intentional with our photo shoots and when you start being more intentional and you think about things before you're doing it you're planning your shoots out properly you'll start seeing the results and this is what I do regularly like you, you, you need to scope out where you're going to shoot the outfits liaise with your model and I'm telling you watch the transition from before and after when you start implementing this on every shoot definitely be more intentional with your shoots in 2024 Thank you.